All right. All right. Everybody needs to stop DMing my shit right now. All right, man. Let's get this thing started, man. Y'all ready? We got two legends in the building today. We got Kiwan and Murphy Lee of the St. Lunatics in the building with us today to talk a little bit about what they got going on and some of the new things coming up, man. I hope everybody enjoys this interview. I know I'm excited for it. Let's get this thing started, man. What's good? Let me unmute these these guys' microphones real quick. All right, there's Key, there's Murph and Key One. What's happening, guys? Oh yeah, you you turn sideways on us, Murph. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. How y'all boys doing today, man? I see, I see y'all all, all you, uh, you see me geared up over there. Yeah, I see you. It's a habit. So, uh, so, oh yeah, I, I best believe as soon as I, as soon as I get it in the mail, I'm going to be wearing it in the streams, man, for real. <laughs> so, uh, what's new, man? It's been a minute since, any, since, uh, I've been able to. Tap in with some. Actually, I've never really tapped in with some celebrities on the show, so I'm excited for that. I appreciate y'all's time, man, for real. <laughs> you already know. Hey, all the way, all the way, all the way. Hey, so, so y'all t- tell everybody a little bit about the uh, You See Me brand. So, so it's really close to speak for themselves. You know what I mean? Like we do a lot of things, and it's you can't make excuses. So it's really what life is about. No matter what you get thrown, you got to hit out the park. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that. It's a way of life. It's a uh, for a low key fraternity. Oh. It's a um, a motivational um, theory. Okay. I don't know what the hell I just said. Don't 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 take that. <laughs> that was that was country grammar. We gonna roll with it. We gonna roll with it. So, so coming up, man. Let me. I gotta ask y'all this because this is something I've been wanting to ask people that's been where a lot of the artists that we deal with want to be at. Is you know, back when the St. Lunatics was 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 doing when y'all was doing y'all's thing, man, there wasn't really a whole lot of social media going on. So as as y'all been in the game so long and seen the growth in the social media, how has it affected how y'all move? Got that check. Um, it, it's not a it's not affected. It it helps, you know what I'm saying. But we we did come out before social media, so. Right. It was absolutely no social media. It went like it was some. You know what I'm saying? Twitter didn't drop to like 08 or some shit. I think the only so, form of social media back then might have been MySpace or something. MySpace yeah, but came, like a, but, but you, it, went end, social. it went social enough. Right. right. MySpace went social enough. It was more, so, MySpace was the first SoundCloud. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can see our, you can see your bio and stuff like that, and you probably even send the person a message, but 
it was mainly about listening to somebody music or you know what I'm saying, seeing they work. It wasn't about uh actually socializing and Yeah, they wasn't really no way to chat back and forth on my space. Seeing your life. So uh, But it changed it, it it changes drastically, man. And um I wish it would have came sooner. It would have been even better though. But I like the new times. I like being able to uh go right to my fan. We always talked about we was always hands on with our fans anyway. You know what I'm saying? At all times. So I think that's the biggest part about it. I got you. So uh I see you over there blowing on some gas over there, Q1. What you smoking on, bro? Smoking on that lunatic OG. Lunatic OG. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to go try to find some of that. We might have like I've seen a strap. I feel like I've had a strap. We're gonna have to go find some of that. We're gonna have to go find some of that. Is that commercial? Is that shit commercial? Yeah, can we get that over here in Seattle? You know, we, we I might have, you know, the St. Louis behind me, but I am over here in Seattle where the weed legal. Right, we'll get it to you. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. All right. So um what what y'all wanna talk about this? I wanna talk about this uh this uh these songs y'all been dropping here lately. I know I know I've been doing a little bit of research. I've talked with Kiwan a couple times and um seems like y'all dropping new music every week. Yeah, man. We on we on a little mission. We on a little mission. Um we got the Murph Mondays. We've been dropping songs once a week. We on week seven coming up, week seven. Um, I ain't trying to miss no beat. I even dropped an album in on 420 just to uh to spice it up, just throw something else in there. It's called Bo. Yeah, I know the soundtrack that. to Reefer. I noticed yeah, that. Yeah, man. I noticed it. You can go to newmurf.com and take a listen, or you can go to any uh streaming site, it's available. Um, that thing right there just got a gang of uh 420 inspired slappers. Okay. All right, man. So uh so uh what's what is the uh what's the new mission y'all own, Murph? If y'all can talk about that if you can if y'all want to talk about that a little bit. I don't know, you know, some people like the element of surprise. Nah, tell them, kid. Uh the new mission. Uh yeah, second time around. Yeah. Yeah, we're working on the second time around. Uh and we're gonna treat it like a family reunion. We're gonna get all our people back that we loved and loved us, and we're gonna um Enjoy ourselves. We're gonna have a nice experience. We're gonna do a lot of weekend experiences in different cities, including uh film, uh music, comedy, and uh some drinks. All right. <laughs> that sounds like a plan though. That sounds like a real plan. Yeah, we just, uh, yeah, we just trying to um, you know, let everybody know that everybody grew up and we on a different mission. Um it's a new chapter, same book. I got you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to show somebody some live bands and, some, you know what I mean, some nice date nights and, you know, mature mature meetups. Now, now correct me if I'm wrong, but you, uh, Kiwan, you're managing Murph right now, right? Uh, Life-wise, not business-wise. Okay. So I'm his big brother. So we brothers. So we manage each other since we were born. So that's not a big thing. It's just manager is just built to look out for somebody. And that's what I'm going to do naturally. So that's about it as far as that goes. But if you want to run business by me, then we can get it cracking. Yeah. All you know right. what I'm saying? All right. No problem. But, you know, that's just natural. So whatever it is, it is. Whatever I can do, I do. Whatever he do, he can do. Got you. That sounds like an idea, man. So, um, <coughs> so how long y'all been? How long y'all been doing the? Uh, how long have y'all had the UC Me brand going? Uh, I think it's been going since, man, for real. Since um, put this way, Murph Murph was um, Murph was promoting um, "Love Me Baby," so his second single. It's like a second or third single of his album. And that's when the name came across. I think Big Gip kept calling, kept saying something about you see me, like you see me glasses. Like he wanted got on them bitch, you see me glasses. And he just kept saying, You see me, you see me, you see me. And I was like, that's hard. Okay. <laughs> and then so. we just started, All right. and we started throwing it around. We start throwing it around and and that's what it was, you know what I'm saying? And then we start wearing different shirts and different clothes. 
Yeah, I started to say you that because I seen some of the, I seen some of the, uh, I seen the logo and some of the brands and some of the older videos that y'all were doing. Right. So we've been doing it. We, we just always had a thing about being somebody else. So anything I can do to not be you, I'm, I'm kind of doing it. If it ain't cornball or going against my morals, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. So. You know, I'm never scared. So we always about building brands and make sure that we stay ahead of the game. That's all. And that's what it was. You know, we didn't take it real serious until now. As far as as far as the merchandise, as far as the clothing goes, I don't want to call it merchandise. I got you. So is there is there a place that people can go pick up the clothing? Um, Yeah, you can go to you see me gear dot com and you can take a look and then you can email me or text me. You know, it's just a, it's just a list of show. What you able to get right now? We starting a little bit opposite than everybody else. A lot of people start off um, making bulks and 2,400, 400 different shows, but with us, we doing the opposite. So I'm really about people sending me their shoes and saying, "Hey, match this with this," and making any color you want, kind of custom type of uh, move first. Okay. So wow, on the that's... site on you see me, yeah. So like on you see me gear.com, you can see the logo that you can get. And then you can come up with your color combos and tell me, and then I then we'll get it made for you. Oh no, see that's dope. That's dope. That kind of make that makes it that makes it that much more special. I like that. I like that. How did you want to do it through Ky anyway? Right. Yeah, that's why. That's why. You guys did Air Force Ones. That's like one of the biggest uh, brand. I know that song was that song was genius with the product placement. Like, bro, you guys made Air Force Ones hot, like. Michael didn't do that. Y'all did that. Y'all, y'all did Air Force One, bro. Everybody, that trend, that trend was retarded big. I yeah, cause remember growing up, like I had, I had like nine different pairs of forces, though. Yeah, bro. When we was in, see, when when y'all were big, we were still in high school. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, Air Force, when Air Force Ones dropped, I think every every athlete in school, every person that 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 had money at school. Went and bought at least three or four pairs of four, uh, Air Forces. Everybody. I, I mean, everybody y'all y'all really mama, set a they trend. For their babies, for their grandparents, like everybody, everybody and their daddies, even dogs had Air Forces, bro. That was some real shit. You guys took Nike's <laughs> numbers and blew but them. Y'all, but y'all knew that was smart, though, because y'all, y'all knew what y'all was doing. That product placement was genius. Well, well to be true, we, we, did, we, we didn't know. We didn't know as much as it looked. You know what I'm saying? It, we didn't know. I'm gonna keep it real. That's what that's what life is about. It's about learning. So, no, we didn't benefit as much as I think we should have. Uh, but we did. You know, of course they gave us something. Of course, but I'm just saying now with my my thinking now, it's and everybody in the group different uh, thinking now. It would have been even crazier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that. You're also talking about business in the industry in the 90s. Right. The pro. The the, the There pro- was a lot of there was a lot of shit and, and a lot of sheep and wolves clothing. You know what I mean? Or a lot of wolves and sheep clothing. Well, they were back right. In the 90s, especially in the industries, a lot of artists, a lot of artists missed out on a lot back in the 90s. So. But now, but now, but now, for me thinking now, it's time to go back to Nike and develop something where we interacting with each other in a certain way you know what i'm saying i mean y'all could probably do y'all's own shoe i mean i've seen plenty of artists get their own custom you know branded shoe and, and yeah, we had a couple of custom we had a couple of couple of custom shoes during our time but we want that we want that thing thing that, I you, know feel what I'm you know we don't want the limited pair and all that we want to make that shit crazy crazy like run it like every, make them a little cheaper and make them run Shaq. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I got a real, question. Real, I got a question about this Ludacris versus Nelly, man. What's what's going on with this? What's what? How did this? How did this all start and come about to to be Ludacris versus Nelly? That's versus. Um, that's that's switch. That's that's Timberland and that's um, uh, Swiss, uh, Beats. Swiss Beats. You know what I'm saying? They got a thing called Versus. They got a brand called Versus, and they uh. They platform, they they just bringing back legendary stuff. So it, I guess they trying to bring, first it was producers only and nobody else. The first artists that did it themselves were Jill Scott and Erica Badu. You know what I'm saying? 
So this is the first time hip hop, this is their first hip hop brand doing it now. You know what I'm saying? So it's usually about writers and producers. That's how it started. That's what it was. Okay. And then now they like they going to another level. So they pick two legendary people, and it, I think it's gonna be super dope. Everybody gonna be tuned in, and I know they're gonna break numbers on that on that Instagram thing or whatever. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. I'm definitely gonna have to tap in for that. I see you yeah, over there, Key One, showing off the gear. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just talking shit. <laughs> But yeah, I, I so so. Uh, what time does this uh this this battle go down on Instagram? I, I'm definitely gonna have to tap in. Shit, yeah, to me they battling right now because the way people talking about it is like it's happening right now. So <laughs> yeah, so I, mean, I mean usually I mean usually I think it's around seven eight o'clock or six. It's at seven seven p.m. Eastern. Okay. Yeah, on so IG, like on the verses, oh, it's gonna be on air. It's gonna be on Luda, on Nelly's. Uh, it's gonna be on his IG. All right. Live, and that's today. And or on, that's tomorrow yeah. or today. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. Man, that's that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be epic. I, let's. I I hope they break some some IG records tomorrow. while you bullshit? <laughs> nah, they are gonna break some records. Cause it's gonna be retarded. They pick two of them, two of them dudes. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you, got Luda. you got Luda, man. I would just Luda is retarded with them bars, dog. I feel like I feel like Luda, Luda's been in his own lane the whole time. Every album, I haven't like. Can we all? Can we all really think for a second? Let's name a bad Luda song. Mm. That dude is gifted, bro. All right, like unreal. That's Nelly the truth. Oh. Nelly's, Nelly's, Nelly the truth too, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you talking this about gonna this is gonna be epic. Man. I think it's gonna like, be epic. It should do. It should do better than 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 some of the like that. Uh, that six nine. They should do numbers like that. Six nine did. They should do more numbers than that. We're not even gonna talk about that. Seventy five million. We're not even talking about that. <laughs> Where did he go? We not talking endless. about that. All right. Possibilities are endless. <laughs> yeah. <man>. Okay. <laughs> Any, moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so let me ask you something, man. In all of y'all's experience, what's been the most memorable moment y'all could think of? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's because they, they mean, so I mean, many so, of them. There's got to be so many right. of them, but you got to you have got that it. one that just sticks out more than any other one. You gotta at least do categories or something. Like you just can't say. <laughs> uh, all right. So say, the most memorable moment when y'all when y'all dropped the, the first Saint Lunatics album. Right after that, it, it mm. probably was the it probably was the day it dropped. If we want to go that way, the day it dropped the line at the record store. Oh yeah. The the day they gave us the. Gold plaque on the first day. Gold plaque on the first day. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, how did that feel, man? Like, how did that make y'all feel? We didn't. We didn't, we didn't even know what that was. We didn't. Care. <laughs> that was time, we didn't that was, care about that. That was the time when that, that never happened. We didn't care about that shit. We was trying to man. Listen, we had shit to do. <laughs> Hey, I feel you. I feel you. Young, young and, and excited. That's what it. That's what it was. No, nah, we wasn't even excited like that. We was like, "Shit, I know that now. That sounds good." Then it sounds like what we doing on the ball. Like, okay, that's what's up. But uh, that mud, you know, a plaque ain't no check, right? You know that, right? 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 right. Oh yeah. Don't yeah. You, just because you got the plaque, don't mean you got the check. Yeah, so it's equivalent. I mean, it, it adds end, up right? to it. It's a good, it's a great start, though. It's a better start than a whole lot of people, but right. it just didn't feel the right. same way to everybody. It was cool, though. Don't get me wrong, but she, we knew we had a whole lot to get off, and we still ain't got ours off yet. We just, we just getting started. We just graduated college. Like, in the industry, for real, we Zion. So all y'all seen was our, at Duke. All y'all seen was Duke. Y'all ain't even seen the NBA yet. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so okay, so y'all okay. Hey, man, All right, said, I like I like the I like the confidence they though. Said was the he year, said, bro. "Hey, they said what they saying." Twenty twenty was the year. Twenty twenty vision, man. Facts. I like that. That's a dare. That's a good. That's a good motto too. <laughs> man, it's it's about to be crazy, man. It's second time around. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's just knowing what we know now. You know what I'm saying? And still sparring the same way we spar. It's gonna it's gonna be a crazy run, man. I just wanna uh, you know, hope the world gets safe so we all can go out and play. Right, right, right. And I and I got I got faith that it will, man. I think I think everything gonna 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 be all right. You know what I'm saying? They gonna things gonna calm down. We are gonna get back to life as we know it. And it, it, cause to be real, bro, it's like it's like this whole thing this whole thing is more it, it, i feel like people are, i mean it's, i'm not trying to downplay the severity of it but we've been we're afraid of a germ you know what i'm saying we're afraid of a germ right now and the coronavirus has been around for a long time it's just a, this is another mutated strand of it so i feel like as human beings we have the will to survive and maintain and i think you know what i'm saying like they always like like your grandma used to say, this too shall pass, right? No, it will pass. The thing is, it's just gonna be some fallen soldiers regardless. Oh, definitely. So we gotta know that. And we just not trying to be the fallen soldier. That's all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. it's gonna be some, you know, but we definitely need to teach more immune systems than we do, you know, sanitizer. So Right. Yeah. It shouldn't have took an it shouldn't have took a pandemic for people to wash their hands. <laughs> Yeah, but it's real. Nah, it's shit real, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's we bury real. our it's auntie real. what today, tomorrow. Matter of fact, or tomorrow. So it's it ain't it ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know personally ten people like close to us, and then I know all the industry people that that happen to. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's it's here. It's just who can handle it. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people, if you got a respiratory problem, you probably can't handle it. Like and it, it ain't playing with it. So. Is everybody be safe until it's till it, to the earth clear? You know what I'm saying? Until until we know what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. That, I'm, that's far as people, you know what I'm saying, near each other. Because we all probably got it right now. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you don't you don't have to be showing. You you can not you could be carrying this mug and not have it. Right. And I know. You right. know what I'm saying? Like right. so, it's that it's real as a must. So the more we be like, man, fuck that. I'm going outside. Well, go outside for a reason. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't just be. Don't just go. You know what I'm saying? Don't just, let's let's work. You either working. Or getting some food. That's it. Yeah. Like take your ass home for yeah. a minute, man. We ain't been able to sit down in so long. Like people, people be crying about they ain't got time for this and time for that and don't want to sit down. But then shit at the same time, shit, this is your time to sit down. It's telling you to sit down. Sit down for two seconds. If you and if you need to work, go work. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But at the same time, if you able, sit your ass down. Stay away from people that you usually always around. Cause somebody going to somebody else's house every night, nigga creeping, ain't saying nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. People yeah. ain't ain't passing up on no pussy. And people going to get some. Like I gotta go get it. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Like they. <laughs> hey, but you and then she fast, saw, though. She and then she just played cards with her three friends. Then her three friends went then been frapping the other. It's just going. It's just like that. Like cause we be just it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking at everybody who who just walking around like whatever. I'm like all right, I see it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm here to. To tell you, like my aunt died Monday. Like it, it's real. It's there. You know what I'm saying? And then half of the time, them people or might not even be dying from Corona, but Corona attacks your respiratory and your respiratory. It's like HIV. Kills. It's like it's like HIV kind of. Like it hurts the things yeah. that's already messed. Are you already messed up? It already touched yeah. itches. Yeah. yeah. Well, my condolences to having. both of y'all, man. About uh, about your um your auntie, man. I, Oh, no, 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 all good, man. All, all good, all good. That's it's just, it's just, we just letting you know that it, it's real. Sometimes it should be happening. A lot of times don't hit home, so we just be people just be rolling. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, or I wouldn't even say it. I wouldn't even brought it up for real. For I only brought it up because it has hit home, so I know that it's there. And then I got people that's who just caught it, just just tested positive, hitting us like, yep, it's real. <laughs> like, yep, it's real as shit. Right. <laughs> like I feel like this, like this and that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man. Just be safe. That's all we saying. Be safe. Do it different. And yeah, I, it's it's crazy. It took this to, for people to watch that. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Right. You right about that, man. It's kind of a bad thing to wash wash your hands like as much as people exaggerate to do it anyway. 
yeah, yeah. But it's just a little simple shit. I know we ain't got to stay on that subject or nothing, but it's just a little stump, simple stuff. Like, I, I know I just touched my mouth 50 times just yeah. now. Yeah. Just on it, just doing it. You just naturally, we just naturally do that, like, period. So I know that's a lot going on. So when people be like, man, I've been following the rules and I've been doing it, but we don't realize a lot of things, man, just it happens. So you right, yeah, man. You're right about that, man. Get a lot of sunlight. So um, what about hip hop though? What's up with it? Hey, I, I, I was gonna add. I I, I really want to know how how what how you felt the day that you won a Grammy for Shake Your Tail Feather. Like I think a lot of people would want to know what the personal feelings that you had or the thoughts that you had running through your mind at that time. Oh uh, no! To be honest, it to be honest, it and um it, it had literally no effect on me at all. For real, for real. I can't even front. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Which the year before that we fucking banned the Grammys. We was on some band cop, bad boycott shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then a year later, we we uh, won that. So I I personally um didn't care about it until later, until like my son seen and he was happy and proud of me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Told me I got a Grammy like Michael Jackson and all that. And <laughs> then I woke up like, oh, okay, we we up there then. Uh, all right, all right. It means more when the youngest say it, huh? Yeah, it just he told me what it meant and I ain't I didn't get it. You know what I mean? I got you, man. So, um, I, I I had a couple. I had about two or three people hitting me up because they, you know, we've been promoting this interview and all, and they kept asking me because I normally run a review show. They were like, "Hey, are y'all gonna be playing any music?" And I'm like, "No, this is not a submission. This is a live for an interview. We're gonna talk and see what they got going on and, and find out, you know, what what it is y'all got coming up and things like that." But uh, <laughs> I had a lot of people. No, we, it. no, we actually, we actually been thinking about you know starting some things where we will review music and real uh, kind of uh, consult you know online type of uh, vibe, you know. So we are gonna put something together. You know, we could talk about it when we get off air. We can put something together and try to vibe with it. Oh, I definitely be down for that, man. Definitely, I definitely help y'all get that together. All right, so um. Let's see here, man. We got plenty of questions we could go through. I don't know necessarily how much time you boys have got. I know y'all probably some y'all probably busy. I'm be then. shooting. I'm 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 gonna be shooting a video in the middle of this interview because they gotta beat this light. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Y'all keep going. Keep one got answers. I got answers. I'm gonna talk to it at the same time. Just letting you know that I don't want to keep holding them up, but because it clashed. But um, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, that sounds like, what about them Cardinals? <laughs> what about them Cardinals, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy what they did to the man. Man, Cornbread. That's crazy man. what they did to Cornbread. Nah, man, we chilling, man. You know, it's about vibes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Ask us what you need to ask. Um, well, you know, this is one of the questions my brother came up with for mo a lot of the interviews, and, and, you know, I don't hear a lot of people asking this question. What's your most embarrassing moment that you've ever had live in, during a performance? Y'all ever, you ever like tripped or fell on stage or went to dive off and, and fell off or any, you know, any kind of embarrassing moments while performing? Uh, I definitely forgot my verse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said he forgot his verse. Man, I'm terrible at this shit. I got you. <laughs> but that's about it. I don't, you know, I can't remember nothing embarrassing to the public. It probably, I probably did something wrong and didn't nobody know it. Right, right, Cause, right. Because we, we smoothed it out. But well, it you know, that's 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 got a lot to do with the, um, you know, especially during live performances. It's it's got a lot to do with your production team too, as far as people not noticing the slip ups. Right, and the trip ups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I definitely remember I got locked out. Uh, I got locked out of the uh, the hallway in the hotel where I went. I was going upstairs, so I'm right by the exit door. So I went upstairs in like some little shorts and like no shirt for real, just to have somebody some weed or some shit upstairs right quick. And the door locked on me, so I had to go all the way down to the lobby part, all the way down the steps. I was on top floor. I had to go all the way down the, the, the hallway rail. 
to the bottom part under the building because they had like a, a, a earthquake type of vibe down there. Had to go all up under there, through the laundry room to the front lobby and then back up through the elevator in the little ass shorts and no shirt. That shit. Was crazy. <laughs> I bet that shit was crazy. What about you, Murph? You ever had any 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 uh experiences that you was like, man, damn. Yeah, I died. I died in jail. I, um, hey, I died in jail like a motherfucker. Uh, we was on tour. <laughs> we was on tour, and we left. We was in New York for about a week or something, and I had my gun in the drawer because guns was legal, illegal in New York. But I can, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of states that we was going through where I was able to carry. And I had it in the drawer, and then we left. We had to leave for a show or something, and I forgot that motherfucker. Didn't know I forgot it, right? I ain't no shit. I just knew we was coming back to New York next week. Came back to New York while we on the bus. Right before we pulled into New York, they said, do not bring Murph to the to the hotel because they got a warrant out for his arrest. I'm like, what the fuck? What they talking about? And come to find out, I left my gun in the hotel room. And it would be crazy. It was the Trump Hotel. That was nuts. <laughs> oh, you shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Yeah, so, so I end up going to another hotel. You know what I'm saying? And then my lawyer end up, um, you know, Cause you can carry guns if you like you going to a gun show or something like that you know what i mean you can you can you can go state to state because you probably you know i can go trade the gun or sell the gun you know what i mean anything i just can't carry it on me so they tried to charge me for some bullshit and he, my lawyer got it and and tried to get my gun back so the case got dropped and tried to get my gun back and come to find out the police then stole my gun out of holding it. And that sound it like some crazy. bullshit somebody would do it sound like that sounds like some NYPD shit. Right, too. right. Yeah, they stole my shit, but yeah, I lost the gun in that situation. But I could have been my ass. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give the audience a uh, uh, y'all if y'all got a question y'all would like to ask, drop it in the comments. I'm only gonna pick a few of them because I know they're probably gonna go nuts, and um, and, t- and it's gonna take a couple minutes because for some reason it doesn't matter what you do, where you at when you're streaming it, it's delayed. So. We'll give them a few minutes and uh, see if anybody has any questions they'd like to ask. But we're going to keep it rocking, man. So <laughs> so you dodged jail over a gun that you didn't even have on you. You just left it in the hotel room. Yeah, it was registered in my name, though. It was mine. It was my room, my gun. You know what I'm saying? Right, but you wasn't carrying it on you. You know what I'm saying? So that, that right there, you wasn't doing nothing wrong in the first place. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> it's New York City. Did you see what happened to Jai? You think the gun was on? You think the gun was on Wayne when they came on his bus? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> all right. You think the gun was on Jaru when they came in his yeah, uh, probably, dressing room? Yeah, probably. Nah, not. at all. At all. They don't give a fuck. Then why PD trying to lock your ass up? Yeah, Sit that. your ass down. <laughs> they want to make an example, nigga. These hip hop niggas. <laughs> all that fifth floor and filth in my neighborhood. I don't know. I live in St. Louis. All right. Hey, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Now we can. All right. Go ahead. So, uh, Nada Savage said, What is y'all's favorite song or artist? Do y'all have a favorite artist that y'all listen to? Right now? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, my favorite artist besides Murph is Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich? All right. And Lil Baby. And Lil Baby. All right. What about you, Murph? Uh, besides Murph, I, I usually listen to... Uh, Anthony Hamilton. Okay. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be listening to hip hop every night. I listen to everything that come out because I'm titled up. You know, I support my black people. So I, I'm titled up. So I, every time something drop, I'm listening. I give everything a listen and I love everything. But I, um, but I'm bumping. I'm bumping. You know what I mean? Bump. Anthony Hamilton and some Eric Badu song or something that, that my daughter didn't send me. <laughs> like, I don't be bumping that. All right, all right. The Hamilton, the Hamiltons. Uh, so they wanted to know: Do you listen to? They also Kevin Glover. Excuse me. He wants to know: Do y'all listen to any 
unsigned independent artists. Yeah, I mean, I've listened to what's in front of me, what's what's able to be heard. I don't do too much searching, but yeah, I, I know enough independent artists that aren't signed that I'll be listening to. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what that's what we trying to um we trying to cut out a section for that thing to like we talked about earlier. Like being able to listen to artists and talk to artists. Right. And be a I, I think that would be really dope, man. I um that would be really, really dope. I'd definitely be willing to help y'all get it going. You know, get some, you know, get some quick uh, guidance. You know, some Something first like look that. guidance, because that's what a lot of, a lot of, a lot of times, people only see you one time. So, I think that's how you should be judged too. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're you know right. You only get one shot most of the time. So you should be judged that way. I got a question. As far as uh, us taking time out to listen, you should be. Now, if you got a friend that want to develop you, that's different. But you said we should you, come off and we should be able to give a good insight on where you're going, how it sound. Should you quit? Should you work harder? Okay. Et cetera, et cetera. So, so what you're saying is Kiwan and Murphy Lee are, are going to wind up doing a show once a week? Doing something like this? Or Probably so. Yeah. Well, let's right. try, well, when we start off, you know, you guys start off shooting a layup, and then we shoot a free throw, then we shoot a three pointer. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. So let's just see how the vibe <laughs> is. If it's not, if it's not worth doing it every week, you know, you might do it once a month, make it bigger. It just depends. All right. We could definitely. I, I mean, if you need some help, bro, like I said, I can help y'all get that going and um, try to help y'all plan things out. All right, that's for sure. My brother had a question. What was the question? <laughs> I got a question. If you could go back and do one thing that you missed out on that you didn't get like to do because you had, you know, you, you come to a point where you got to make a decision to fork in the road. It's this way or that way. But you really wanted to do what you really wanted to do the other thing as well as the one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like If you could go back and do that one thing that you missed out on doing that you wish you could have done, what would that have been? Mm. So Probably said, somebody's oh. daughter. I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> he said somebody's daughter. <laughs> hey, at least you keeping it a thousand. I don't know <laughs> what I missed. I probably <laughs> the only thing I missed out on probably was some pooty pooty. I ain't ever did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just pleasant. I don't know. I'm too silly for that answer. I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what. I, <laughs> I don't know what I missed. I mean, of course you're gonna miss out on things when you grow up and you realize, like, dang, that was in front of me or this and that, but. Ain't no regrets. That that mean I regret something a little bit, or I I don't know. Ain't no. I got you. Mm. I wish I'd have went harder. You wish you'd have went harder. Yeah. Kinda. And I went hard, so I wish I'd have went harder though. That's all. All right. Now now I was watching an interview, and I can't remember exactly which one it was. But I want her key my ass. He's thinking hard. Oh, he over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, basically economics. Just knowing more about economics. Okay. So you would have you would have liked to had a lot more business knowledge and a lot more, uh, you know, it's like the, how the economy moves and how things marketed and shit like that at a younger age. Yeah, I'm. I was pretty decent at marketing and a little bit of business, but it's the money. Right. Yeah, knowing what the money do. Knowing how to was it? What do you mean? It was the money. Do you mean it was like, it was like as far as managing your money or, not necessarily managing, but knowing what money is. See, a lot of times, what you gotta understand is, is I might have fifty thousand dollars in my left pocket, but my friend with me has five hundred thousand in his left pocket. So in your mind, you would think that you need five hundred thousand. When you could have did a lot with the fifty, yeah, I can I can understand that. And learn how to use your credit for what it really used for. Learn how to build it. Learn how to learn how to help others in a different type of way. You know, we help others with money. We learn. We don't. We the first generation, so we learn to help with money. If you, my cousin, you need a business and you want to do this, we'll give you twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, instead of spending two thousand to get your credit right. 
and then go put it in your own name. You know, putting stuff in our names and your parents' stuff and your cut. You know what I'm saying? It's just doing a lot of frivolous things that hurt you later on when you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you're putting a lot of responsibility in other people's names and other people's situations and power. So learning how to help people but still make them be adults as well as you are, and then you end up with a whole tribe of business people. Got you. Now, that's, that, that makes a lot of sense, too. I mean, it definitely makes a lot of sense. So I was uh I was doing some reading and I was watching an interview. Now you now the Saint Lunatics was never actually signed to a like a, a record label, right? Like a record yeah. label. Yeah, no, we signed Universal. We're on Universal Records. Okay, then some of the information that's on the internet's wrong. <laughs> I hope it is. There's always something wrong on that. <laughs> you got the oh, right. Hey, hey you know that you ain't know, nothing new. You right about that. You right about that. So, um, if y'all could go back and, and do do it all over again, would you change it? Don't say that. Don't say that. You just asked us that. Don't say that. Don't say don't do nothing. There ain't nothing to do. Yeah, we here now. We done it. Yeah, you right. We done you with right, twenty right. years in. You right. We twenty years in. I don't. Even, you know, that's that's that was dumb. Nah, see, you know what I mean? See, no, 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 no. See what it is is what it is 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 that if you say that same question different, if you say what would you do this second time around, like what are you gonna do second? What are you gonna do this time around that you didn't do? Yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna do the second time around that you didn't do the first time? <laughs> Let's reword that guy. Hey, that was dope. That was dope. Key wants to work for a goddamn somebody. Right. You crazy. That boy crazy. Um, he knows the language. Um, I wouldn't say different. I would say more calculated, more um, more going around more awareness. You know what I'm saying? Like ownership. Definitely ownership is is in the play, but I think um just the the fan to artists. I want to. I want to change that. You know what I'm saying. I want you. I'm about to change. I'm about to change. And this is too much info on, on any uh, what's called. I'm. I'm trying. I'm about to change my fans to subscribers, and not subscribers in where you. I'm taking your money, but like you're gonna be in tune and you're gonna learn. You're gonna be entertained. You're gonna be. You know what I'm saying. The whole night you're gonna see the whole thing, and I'm gonna set an example for a lot of artists to 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 go by. To how you interact with your fans, coming from old humble Murph, humble old Kiwan, you know what I'm saying? Like how you interact with your fans, and what what's what we take and what we give really means. You know what I'm saying? And also, I'm tired of people just coming on stage, rapping over their songs, and and leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't lead we don't lead the fans with nothing. So what it does is it makes people not want to go to show certain shows or concerts no more and stuff like that. But they turn their head down the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to get that back in play because that's what it's hip hop even started with was just concerts and people coming out to see people perform. I'm saying here the DJ like, you know what I mean? So now we just literally want to give we want to give an experience. That's dope. Now, see, I, I was watching that interview the other day where you was talking about how important it is, even in these smaller towns. You know, if you got if you got a town with twelve hundred people in it, and you got six hundred people that's fans, it was something you were you were saying something along the lines of that. But you was talking about how important it was to be to to go to these smaller markets and really, you know, touch to you know that way you can touch those fans. That's how you build a foundation. I, and I mean, it's definitely for um, certain most, uh, for real, 85% of the artists. You know what I'm saying? Some artists just can't do it. They can't even, them times just too small to even hold them. But for for the most part, on your come up, these artists need to make sure they touching these certain towns and cities. You know what I'm saying? But that's me. That's Murph. Not, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even, I'm not even finna say everybody do that. I'm gonna say build your foundation and Go for the people that like you, and quit worrying about people who don't like you. Yeah, cause I, now that now with that being said, I cause I run you know running the review show, there's you can see mixed emotions with certain songs, and it's like okay, well, all music isn't for everybody, you know. 
Exactly. And what works for one man might not work necessarily for the next man too. So that's another that's another thing you, people need to think about. But it, I do think it's very important to, to to really network as much as you possibly can. With as we much. all got different buds, yeah. man. Taste buds, yeah, but, ear buds. Yeah, but we need to, but we need to learn what we need to learn and we need to teach what network means. Network sound like a word where you go outside and it's people there that you need to meet and you get their number and you move. Like, you're not finishing. Right. So, it's almost like we don't know what the word host means now at club. Hosted by Murphy Lee. What does that mean? That means he's not performing. That's it. Yeah, right, right. I, I figured, you, well, you know I what I'm saying? saying? Now, now if it's hosted by Puff Daddy, he's going to grab the mic more because he understands that's what you need to do. So I'm just saying that word is just, we don't know what these words mean. We don't know what Hollywood means. We don't know what groupies is. We don't know what gangster is. We don't know what keeping it real is. We don't, these are all opinionized words that we use them for some factual. Gotcha. So I don't know where the clarity gonna come in on that, but or the vote or whatever it is, but uh, that means a lot when you say that, you know. Like when somebody say, uh, "Yeah, man, it cost me a little bit of money." Like, what's a little bit of money to you? Two dollars, two grand, two million? What? Is, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's an opinion. Yeah, you got you got different levels of perception here. Yeah. You know, it's different levels of conversation and different and different yeah. subject matters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we just gotta. Uh, you just gotta be be you, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, there's no such thing as bad music, but there is a such thing as not good enough music to get enough people to pay for your rent. So you know I got you. It's only two type of artists out here. The ones with followings and the kind of weird ones. So either you weird, quote unquote, and different, or you got a large following. I got you. I got you. So, for instance, for instance, somebody like a uh, a Chief Keith first song. If he don't, if he didn't have a the following, that's nothing that nobody sixty five years old would like to, enough to sign. Him. And then if I seen if I seen Young Thugger and heard Young Thugger, that's the you gonna sign him because it's different and it's a new vibe. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you're looking for the next trend. That's it. It's, it's trending. Yeah, but see, can you trend? See, now let me. And then with that being said, I feel like trend, trends come and go. Okay, so you need to start your own trend. Does uh, it, yeah, but how long is a trend though? See, that's an opinion word too. Right. You're right. Well, I mean, like, what's a trend for? Like, we are we are not do something because the trend might what last ten years. That's your yeah, career mean, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Last, you change last. it after you get some more, after you get some money. You're gonna change your trend anyway. You're gonna change your shit anyway. Yeah, so that, it's it's volatile. It's it's like currency. It's volatile. It, it could last 24 hours. It could last 24 months. You know, it, there's no. T- it's it's really all about the trend. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So I mean, the, the only thing you would do next is you would just have another trend in place. I always like to say you'll be 10 steps ahead before you make the first move. And you know that's that's a real yeah, well. that's a that's a good way to cushion. Like you could basically call it a, a a bit of insurance. You can keep yourself ten steps ahead every single time. You know there's not there's, there's not much room for, for error. So being able to drop a trend and have another trend drop right after it and then drop right after it. You can even time them whether it's gonna last or not. It, it's kind of like um, how to explain automation for YouTube. Right. It, it trends. It's it's in the same concept of of having a catalog of videos and one or some, if maybe all of them going viral, that would be that would be the. Hello? The definition of a trend in here in this case. Can't hear y'all no more. Can you hear me? Key one. Can you hear us? I can't hear y'all no more. All right, hold on. Uh, 
Hold up. Let's see. Yeah. Right. We got technical difficulties. Hold on. Hang on. Can you hear us now? Hello. Can you hear us? Say something. Can you hear me? Might have to hop out and hop back in. What about Murphy? Murphy, can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay. Okay, then it might be it might be his connection. Yeah, his connection might have went. T1, can you hear us? Nope. Oh, yeah, he's fixing to drop out. He'll have to jump back in. I hear the train in the background, Murph. <laughs> I'm working out here. What up, bro? We in. Yeah. He ain't come in here and kick in? No, it, it's. I think he's going to drop out. He'll have to jump back in. Man. How you doing, brother? What's up, peace, God? Yeah, man. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to. There we go. Can you hear us, Key One? Can you hear us? Can I'm you, back. I can't hear y'all though. You still can't hear us? Unless I put my ear like this. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Well, we should, well, no, but just go ahead. All right. Well, I was actually gonna say too. I had like one or two more questions, and I know, I like, I know, Murph's trying to shoot his video and all. So, um, and out on the street, right here, right out there, and then these niggas yeah, let's let's end it with this, man. Let me ask one more question so we can get y'all boys on y'all's way and get y'all doing because uh, I know y'all busy. Um, what do you? What kind of advice can you give the up and coming artists as far as um, it goes when they seeking out opportunities? Um, be prepared, and you gotta know your level of uh. You gotta know your level of, of yourself. Like, if I'm being somebody, I know I just went rapping yesterday. I'm not trying to say, hey, it's not me, man. No, I'm, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got credibility to know your level before you ask what you're asking. Sometimes it's just to meet somebody. Sometimes it's to get a spin on the, on the radio. Sometimes it's to get a whatever you call a deal, quote unquote, or whatever it is, the next level. Like, but be ready. Like, don't have on five thousand dollars worth of clothes and don't have the music you know what i'm saying can't email me nothing or can't give me nothing in my hand or nothing tangible so you just gotta be ready for your question and know what you need to do and spend your money on yourself all right well key one murph i was just wanted to say i appreciate you guys for giving us a little bit of time um i, can make that, I look forward to i look forward to talking with y'all some more um anytime y'all get ready to let me know when y'all get ready to uh try to do the uh, review th the review show, and I'll help y'all get it all set up. Get y'all set up to stream right. it or however y'all want to do it, man. Nah, okay, that'd be dope, bit. man. Appreciate you, brother. Um, my bad. These times class and shit. Yeah, it's all but good. It's all good, man. I I know how it goes. <laughs> there is no rest for the uh, for the uh, people that got the grind and dedication to keep getting it. Okay. Oh man. Uh. Why That's does Sean great. want me to ask All that? Right. Sean, key one, Sean wants me to ask a question, and I don't know why. He said, my question is Murphy Lee and key one down to do a track with the show host. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let key one. We, uh, we, we, we always down to do songs, you know what I'm saying? Might cost you a little bit, but it ain't going to be that much. Hey, I'm down. I'm going to make you get in your bar bag, Murph. I, I ain't got no other bag. I don't know. Nah. We're going to see. We test that bit and see how deep it is. How you doing, man? Man, you said see how deep it is. <laughs> hey, 
hey, confidence is key, right? All the time. <laughs> confidence is key, right? Confidence is key. How you doing, brother? Yeah. All right, man. Well, I really appreciate y'all's time. Um, and like I said, I'll get with uh, I'll get with Kiwan after the show, and we'll try to get some things worked out to see about doing y'all's show, where y'all are um reviewing the music. And uh, yeah, I like I said, appreciate y'all, man. It's been a it's been a pleasure, been an honor. I'm pretty sure all the viewers that tapped in have enjoyed it. I had one person t- say and tell Murphy Lee, we love him or I love him or something like that. Man, you know, all the love at all time. J9 says she J9? J9 J9 says she loves you, Murphy. Man, tell her appreciate it. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the love. Newmurph.com, man. Get you all the new stuff, all the old stuff. Let you know I ain't never stopped. So that's what it is. I'm available on all search engines, on all platforms. All the new stuff. Murph Weeks. I got the Murph Mondays. Every Monday I drop a new song, so make sure y'all check them out. I got three projects dropping probably before the end of summer, so we rolling. All right, man. Kiwan, you want to leave them with anything, man? Your uh, mic's muted. Your mic's muted. You got to unmute your mic. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it. If he muted it, I'm not sure if I can unmute it. Unmute your mic. Yeah, I can't mute it. I can't unmute it. He muted it. Unmute your mic, Kiwan. <laughs> there you go. You'll see me. I don't care if you're looking or not. <laughs> he said you'll see Watch me. this. Watch this. Let's go. All right, man. Well, y'all, I appreciate you guys, man. Y'all have a good day. Murph, I look forward to seeing this video. Hey, y'all got the apps. Y'all have our apps? You have the- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all should download the radio app, man. They's if y'all want to listen to unsigned independent artists, there's not any. There's a couple mainstream artists on the, on our station, but there's no. Um, they're like features on indie artists' music, so it's not their songs. Oh, uh, twelve hours. You can listen. You can listen to it for twelve and a half hours straight, and not hear the same song. Yeah, twice. twelve and a half hour playlist and nothing but unsigned music artists from right all now. over the world, streaming in 150 countries. That's a, that sounds fun. <laughs> it's free to download, man, on both platforms. All right, guys. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate y'all's time. We're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thanks to everybody that tapped in with us. Kiwan Murph, I look forward to to talking with y'all some more and doing some further things with y'all, man. This is going to be dope. If I put it next to my finger, they'd be the same size. Say what? If I put it next to my finger, it'd be the same size. Oh. Oh. They be that way out here, too. You know, it's illegal out here, so it ain't, you know. You can't you can't walk around with a little pinky size nothing. They're gonna laugh at you out here. Oh, they're gonna be laughing at me though, because I always wear a little pinky. <laughs> uh, I'll be man out there in this world, man. I'm about to go and shoot this thing, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, man. And everybody, once again, appreciate y'all for tapping in. We just had Kiwan and Murphy Lee here on Indie Power Radio. Uh, Get you, that you see me merch. Right. I was just finna say it. He beat me to the punch. Download man. that Indie Power Radio app. Look and, out for the St. Lunatics. And there, hey, the guy, yeah. Keywan and Merce IG is scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. Make sure y'all go follow them on IG, man. Follow them on all platforms. We appreciate y'all guys, man. It was, it was a dope interview, man. And, uh, once again, man, I, I will tap in with you boys a little later, brother. Stay up, stay safe. All right, now. Later. We out of there. All right, cuz off.